The creator of Freddy Krueger, Wes Craven, said Freddy was inspired by an old news story he had read about a family who was trying to get their lives together after escaping the killing fields in Cambodia. But the son had such severe post-traumatic stress disorder that he would have terrifying nightmares. The boy told his parents he was afraid that if he fell asleep, the villain in his dreams would get him. So he tried to stay awake for days at a time. When he finally fell asleep from exhaustion, his family thought everything would be fine. But one night, they awoke to screams coming from his bedroom. He had died in the middle of a nightmare. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Charlotte Dobre. The question we are asking today is, what if Freddy Krueger was real? Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below what topics you would like to see next. Freddy Krueger is one of the most iconic villains ever, and A Nightmare on Elm Street is one of the scariest films ever made. For those who haven't seen A Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger is a burnt faced serial killer who wears a razor glove on his right hand. But Freddy isn't like other serial killers. Freddy kills his victims in their dreams, which causes them to die in the real world. Terrifying, right? To make matters worse, Freddy is completely invincible in the dream world. Every time he kills a victim, he gains more power, and if he kills enough, he can eventually become human again. But what if Freddy Krueger was real? What if there really was a being that was going around killing people in their dreams? A 1979 report by the Los Angeles Times documented three unrelated people who were so terrified of their nightmares that they didn't want to go to sleep. All three people ended up dying while they slept. Autopsies could not determine their cause of death. Wes Craven thought to himself, what if the dreams they were having actually killed these men? Could it be possible that they were all sharing the same dream, even though they didn't know each other? Could it be possible that that the same thing was killing these people in their dreams. Nightmare syndrome is a real thing, and it began to be documented before the release of A Nightmare on Elm Street. In 1981, 18 young Hmong refugees died in their sleep. Hmong people are indigenous people native to Asia, who settled in America after the North Vietnamese invasion of Laos and the Laotian Civil War during the Vietnam War. They were fleeing human rights violations, persecution, ethnic cleansing, and religious freedom violations. These people were healthy, but they were apparently haunted by their nightmares. They would try to stay awake, but would eventually succumb due to exhaustion. Each one of them died in their sleep. It became more likely for a male Hmong refugee to die from nightmare syndrome than to die from homicide, disease, or a car accident. From the 1970s to mid-1980s, 110 deaths were reported, yet no cause was identified. The Hmong people believed in a nightmare demon, called the Dab Song. Perhaps if these people believed in Dab Song enough, could it have killed them? Perhaps the same could be true for Freddy Krueger. So if we actually had a psycho serial killer like Freddy killing people in their dreams, we would obviously have to try and stop him. Freddy is essentially unstoppable in the dream world, yet he seeks to kill enough people so he can eventually become human again. He gets his power from the people he kills. So if Freddy was real, all we would have to do is bring him over to the real world and put him to sleep using sleeping pills or a tranquilizer. Once he's asleep in the real world, we can then kill Freddy. In the same way his victims die in the real world when they're killed in their sleep, Freddy could theoretically also be killed in this way. So we know Freddy's weakness, and we also know how to get rid of him. But does that mean we would want to get rid of him? Imagine the implications of having an assassin like Freddy Krueger on your side. If the government knew about Freddy, they would probably take people claiming to be haunted by him and perform tests on them, and perhaps try to contact Freddy to ask him how he came to be, and if he would want to work for them. Enemies of the government would have nowhere to hide. Freddy Krueger would be the ultimate military weapon. What do you think the world would be like if Freddy Krueger was real? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, you'll love What If Michael Myers Was Real or What If Leatherface Was Real. Clickable on the screen right now. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. That is all for now, and thanks for watching Life's Biggest Questions.